dog has died. I buried him in the garden, next to a rusted old machine. Someday I'll join him right there. But now he's gone, with his shaggy coat, his bad manners and his cold nose. And I, the materialist who never believed in any promised heaven in the sky for any human being, I believe in a heaven I'll never enter. Yes, I believe in a heaven for all dogdom, where my dog waits for my arrival, waving his fan-like tail in friendship. I, I'll not speak of sadness here on earth, of having lost a companion who is never servile. His friendship for me, like that of a porcupine withholding its authority, was the friendship of a star, aloof, with no more intimacy than was called for, with no exaggerations. He never climbed all over my clothes, filling me full of his hair or his mange. He never rubbed up against my knee like other dogs obsessed with sex. No, my dog used to gaze at me, paying me the attention I need, the attention required to make a vain person like me understand that, being a dog, he was wasting time. But with those eyes so much purer than mine, he'd keep on gazing at me, with a look that reserved for me alone all his sweet and shaggy life, always near me, never troubling me, and asking nothing. So now he's gone, 